Today, I wanted to come and bring you guys a chit chat, get ready with me, so y'all can watch me do my makeup and see how I achieve this look. Now, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, I did switch out my contacts. Y'all know I am a avid contact wearer. I wear my contacts almost every single day. Even when I don't do my makeup, I have on contacts because I just love contacts okay so when this company reached out to me iris beauty i was more than happy to go ahead and agree to collab the contacts that they provide they come in essentials passion as well as intense i'm wearing the luminous brown essentials right now it's coming off more greenish gray to me on camera and that is how they look in person you have to look very very closely to see the hues of brown they are very pretty they're so comfortable on my eyes i really don't have any complaints about that and since I am an avid contact wearer and I put on contacts every day these were very easy for me to put on now as it relates to the packaging they came in a box that looks like this this little cute black box and it has a little gold on it I really do like that packaging also they have the carrier case for your contact lenses you'll just have to go and get some contact solutions separately but if you are an avid contact wearer like me you'll probably have some already on deck but just keep that in mind i'll leave the direct link to the contacts that i'm wearing right now as well as a code that you guys can be able to save some coins when you purchase your own contact if y'all are ready to get into how i achieve this look and the chit chat get ready with me portion of this video then stay tuned if the roles were reversed in the sense of i was making more money and everything was coming to i was just watching i don't know if it's kessie vision or kesey vision I'm gonna leave them in the comment section below but I learn a lot from them so I like to watch them just to be up on what's up on. I went ahead and prepped my brows a little bit and I put on my lashes since those things are typically the most time consuming. Now this one eyelash is like giving me grief. Okay so we are going to start with color correcting and I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal orange color corrector to do so so i guess we can come in with a skin update i haven't did my in-depth like um skin talk through video yet but i just want to briefly go over my skin since that was one of the goals that was on my 2019 vision board and i just have like a little tube of water here y'all that i'm dipping my sponges in because once i'm here i don't want to run to the bathroom to wet sponges i'll just wet them in this bowl so yeah um as my skin is go going it's glowing <laughs> it's definitely on a come up and i am so happy and excited that it is gonna come up because girl I had some of the worst dark spots and breakouts and I'm just happy to finally get them under control now I do have dark under eye circles which I was born with y'all can see pictures of me when I was a little girl I always had these I got them from my mom I also have this dark spot here on my face and this one, it comes and it goes, so that's a work in progress. Got that out the way. I'm going in with this Maybelline primer just to get in my get in my zone. I'm just gonna go in with this as my mom on the phone. I don't know what she wanted. <laughs> and I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the color 360 Mocha. Y'all raved over this foundation and it's so cheap. So <laughs> really cheap and affordable and it does the job i would like to invest in some more foundation but i'll just use this one up until it runs out 
And the brush set that I'm using is from Vanity Planet. I got it in like a 30 piece set a while ago. So I went ahead and got my foundation on. Now I'm going to go in with some concealer so that we can highlight, clean my brushes, and don't recognize them. <laughs> I do not recognize them for what they are when they're not dirty. That is crazy. I go in with LA Girl Pro Conceal and this one is in Toffee, if I'm not mistaken. I usually go in with fine, but couldn't find it. <laughs> okay, cool. So now that we have a base down pack, I feel like we can really just actually chit chat. I just had to get those things out the way because I can't talk and do all that. This video is going to end up being longer than it has to and it's just no point. So. I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about self-confidence. On my last live stream, see, how do they do this? How do they do this? Okay, I'm like trying to blend and trying to talk, but anyway, so on my last live stream, I briefly spoke about mirror talk and you had to be there or you had to watch the replay to see me speak about mirror talk but I told everyone that that was basically a technique that I use personally to build my own self-confidence and I learned it from Louise Hay and she has videos here on YouTube as well as a website. What I can say about the mirror talk is it's so very effective like now, I'm not going to say I have the highest sense of self-esteem yet, but my self-esteem has grown um, where I feel more confident about how I look, who I am, and how I present myself in the world and my expression. Being that I take the time to speak to myself in the mirror, it essentially helps my subconscious to be heard. It also helps the inner me to be heard. And I think this is so important for people who seem like they don't feel good about how they look or feel pretty or feel good about their self or their life and who they are in this moment. Mirror talk could be an amazing technique that you guys could use. Also, positive affirmations. Now, this might sound so cliche and so cheesy but i mean really this life is kind of cliche and it is kind of cheesy i'm gonna go back in with some more concealer because i'm not getting the highlight is popping effect right now like it all looks the same to me and it might be the lighting but let's not be too sure so we're gonna go back in because we gotta pop okay <laughs> we gotta pop and it's just not giving me looks it's not giving me what i need and i don't know if it's because i'm using a sponge now but we need to get it together knowing like your worth and stuff comes from the things that you say to yourself so if you are a person who talks down about yourself about different things who you are your gifts your talents how you act how you talk how you look if you're a person like that Positive affirmations can definitely help you. Even a person who is very confident, they still need positive affirmations because this world will tell you so many things that you are. And for people who are not strong in their mind and in their heart and their soul and their spirit, for people who aren't strengthened in that, they could be swayed by what other people think. They can be swayed about how society says that they should be or who they say they should be and how they should look, how you should feel. And one thing I can say about being on social media, think of social media like a sponge. Whatever it is that you choose to soak up on your own feed is what will be going inside of you. And a lot of people that I talk to who go who are going through depression and things like that they compare themselves to others and that's something that i would do as a youtuber or as a 24 year old i would compare my growth or my channel or my views and my likes and all that stuff to other youtubers like okay we started at the same time we put out the same content 
but I don't see growth in my channel, <laughs> right? But when I started my channel, that wasn't what was important to me. You have to know your own life's purpose, whether you're on social media as a YouTuber or you are living a regular, regular, schmegler life. Whatever it is, you have to know what is the purpose. So if the purpose is to please others, then do what everybody else wants you to do and look how everybody else wants you to look. But if your purpose is to be fulfilled within your own self and call the shots for your own self, then that's what you do. Mm, can I find my cacao butter? So I'm gonna put shea butter on it for now, but y'all, I've been drinking that dang on tea, so every time I drink it, my lips get, uh, <laughs> my lips get dry. Shoot. The moment that I sat and realized, and I said, yo, who, who am I doing this for? Like, am I doing this for recognition? Am I doing this to be seen? Am I doing this to be the most popular lifestyle content creator? Like, what am I doing this for? And then I had to really assess like what is my point here like why am I really on YouTube when my stuff answered back it was like to inspire people and connect with people through your lifestyles also to express my creative gifts because I love making things with my hands and editing videos is very therapeutic for me so it's like therapy but it also like gives me community because as y'all know I don't have many friends making friends as an adult is kind of tricky I say that because a lot of people that I associate with they don't live where I live so where I live I'm pretty much by myself I'm slowly open up to like associating with people again but I'm still like a little bit on eggshells that's something that I'm working on not to be so uh, on edge with others based on my previous associations with people so whether that's a group of girls or if it's somebody on a one-on-one -on -one type relationship I'm like so cautious nowadays but that's a work in progress honestly I had to ask myself like why is it so hard for me to love other people or open up my heart to other people now? You know, because initially I was a person that I opened my heart to everybody. But now it's kind of like I'm on my P's and Q's when it comes to stuff. I'm definitely like digging a little deeper i gotta find that balance between waiting it out and being very vigilant about the people that are in my circle now i'm not perfect and i'm gonna say that to you guys over and over and over again but i can say that everybody that comes to your life isn't always going to come into your life with the best intentions now you don't want to go about your days saying like what are your intentions with me what are your intentions with me but it is something that you eventually have to ask and you always 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 have to follow your intuition when it comes to people because your gut feeling will let you know like what you need to do and how you need to move about don't ignore the signs when somebody shows you who they are believe them for who they are do not trust people for their potential don't trust people for who they can be some of us ladies and a lot of us ladies we see the big potential in the people that we date we see their potential quicker than they can actually meet up to that potential that we see in them and i learned this from um another youtuber you don't fall in love with the reality of what the person is you fall in love with your idea of them like what you think they could be and i often say this don't fall in love with your idea of a person fall in love with the reality of who they are don't fall in love with somebody's uh potential because they might not be as committed to their potential as you he spit that knowledge and i said you know what that's a fact like we do often see the potential in people before they even show us or before they even believe 
believe in it for themselves. Like, I don't really deal with guys no more, but I still do have an attraction to guys. I just don't really mess with them no more. But what I can say about guys is they are so simple. Oh, they are so simple. Like, they will not see what's standing right in front of them. And it's not our job, ladies, to beat them in the head about their simplicity. It's not our job at all. It's not our place to do that. That is for them to figure out on their own. The most that we can do personally is work on ourselves. We can go to God about that person, whether you are dating a man or a woman. We can go to God about them and give them people to God. Pray and believe, okay? Don't pray and come back and complain and worry about what they doing and how they doing it and why they not doing what you want them to do. You cannot make nobody do nothing that they don't want to do. Period. You can't change nobody who don't want to be changed. Period. Take people for who they are. Take people for who they show you that they are the very first time. I was thinking about doing a video, lessons that my exes taught me. One of my exes actually taught me that. When somebody show you who they are, believe them the first time. And it's so funny because he said his mom taught him that and he came back and told me. He told me this right before I left him to go and be with somebody else. He basically gave me an ultimatum like, you're going to have to choose. you either going to be with me or you're going to be with her. And I said, dang, why you going to make me choose? I want both. <laughs> I want both y'all. <laughs> he was like no i'm not doing it right so that was his way of telling me what he was and was not going to accept he wasn't gonna be a sideline hoe <laughs> he said he not gonna be no sideline hoe not for me and he said he should have known the first time because we stopped talking and we was in the middle of like rekindling um our relationship or whatever and then I turn around and like end up falling for somebody else and like I fell for somebody else so hard. So you know how like you break up with somebody and then y'all come back where y'all trying to like reconcile things and see where you can like pick up where you left off and everything like that. Well in the midst of me doing that with him, I end up meeting somebody else and fell head over heels. Oh my gosh, I fell head over heels. And he basically knew that. And I think he could kind of see how my love was kind of slowly like dwindling and fading away. Like I wasn't even feeling him like that no more. But it's, it's so crazy because I always told him. And I was telling somebody this just this past weekend that I always told him that I always seen somebody better for him. Like, I didn't feel like I was good enough. I had a low self-esteem and all of that. And I wasn't really confident in who I was. And I just always felt like I wasn't smart enough for him. He was very intelligent. Like, this boy is the boy who you take home to your moms. And, like, you marry and live, like, a quote-unquote good life. He was smart. He was going to school to be an engineer and everything. Like, I just knew, like... If I would have ended up marrying him, I knew my life would have been set, but I wouldn't have been fulfilled because those are not the things that truly deep down in my heart matter. Like, I like to be wine and dined. I like to be scooped up. <laughs> I like to be scooped up, taken out on dates, little surprises and like that. Like, he did all of that stuff for me, but all of those things are low-key kind of superficial. And um, I always wanted something deeper, something deeper out of my relationships. And I felt like I didn't get that there. And I always felt like that in so many of my relationships. So now going back into it, looking at the grand scheme of things, I'm like, yo, I was never fully fulfilled because I wasn't being true to my core. I felt like I had to be who the person wanted me to be rather than me being myself and them falling in love with me for liking me for that you know what i'm saying like i would accommodate the person who i thought that they wanted to be with i'm gonna go in on my inner corners with a little chum 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 so after leaving the one that i love for the one that i like <laughs> 
the one that I loved ended up leaving me for the one that they liked. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. I just got played. I truly got played. But when you get played, that all goes back to potential. Don't make somebody out to be who you want them to be. Believe them for who they tell you and show you that they are the first time. Don't fall in love. Don't accept somebody for their potential. Don't be with somebody based on their potential. See them for who they show you that they are through actions. Because actions never lie. And that's something that I'm working on now. I could tell somebody all day long that I love them, that I support them, and I'm there for them. I can always say that I'm their friend. But words mean nothing to some people. Some people don't express their love in that way. Some people don't. Their love language is not through words of expression. Some people want to actually see action. But you got to get to know people on a deeper level outside of looks, what they got, what they own, what they can do for you. You got to get to know people outside of that. You got to get to know people for their pain and their past and what they done been through. You got to know them on an emotional level. And knowing people on an emotional level will tell you exactly why it is that they act the way they do, why they react to you when you do certain things. And honestly, y'all, this all came with growth. Like, I'm still working on these things. Like, this is stuff that I'm just really picking up on and assessing and learning. Being that I'm, like, present a lot more, I can, like, really understand my relationships on a deeper level than before. I'm going to work on this lash a little bit. And then I'm going to come back with the highlight and some lip gloss. And who get them corners a little better y'all I don't know if I want to do some liner maybe I should huh all right let's get a little bit of liner I need some more because this is just so dried out dang I thought I had took my I thought I took my blush brush blush brush Thought I took my blush brush out, but I didn't. I'm going in with Milani Coral Cove. Now I'm going to go in with Artist Couture in La Bronze. I'm just going to use my black opal walnut stick as I always do. But I don't think I'm going to do the concealer lip method today. I look a little too dewy for my liking. And this blush ain't doing it for me. I don't think my blush brush was dry enough so it made me kind of dewy so I'm just gonna go in with some Maybelline powder and just bring it back over thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video I hope that y'all enjoyed it and were able to connect with me a little bit more and I also want to say thank you so much to Iris Beauty for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video I hope that y'all enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you feel led and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video bye you, you.